Following in the footsteps of Darwin, these students are pursuing a very special project. Its initiator, Sven Gimbala, is helping them to put the theory of evolution to the test. If the origin of species is a general principle in biology, then we should observe it everywhere, and that's what we want to do. With fish, or more specifically with a group of food fish that includes bream, perch and snapper. At home in Tübingen, Tillman, Karin, Britta and the other school kids have learned about different kinds of fish. These species are found in the Mediterranean, so the students have come to Spain. Their research site is just behind the hotel. More than 20 species of perch-like fish can be found close to the coast here, and the young scientists hope to observe them. Unlike Darwin, who made his greatest discoveries on land, the students are heading for the water. They practiced snorkeling back in Germany, in the local swimming pool. Tillman, Karin and Britta are excited to finally get going. At first you're breathing really fast, but then you calm down and you're fine. They're about to go diving into species diversity. Saddled sea bream. The Salema porgy. White sea bream. Different species of these perch-like fish are an extraordinary example of how species differentiate and develop in very different ways. At first glance, the fish are difficult to tell apart. Body forms and behavior seem similar. But the budding biologists have just begun. Sven Gimbala decides to focus on what kind of food the various species prefer. They all observed the sea bream. Most of them saw four or five different species. And that'll put us on solid footing for our work this afternoon. The analysis comes a few hours later. After examining his finches from the Galapagos in the 1800s, Darwin sent them along to a museum in London. With a little help from the literature, the students have to identify their fish species themselves. This kind of project is a far cry from a dry lecture. It brings evolution to life. This is really interesting. If one characteristic doesn't fit, then you look at the others. You go through the various tests until you identify the species. It's fun when your guess turns out right. Plastic models illustrate exactly how each species has adapted to a specific environment. The jaws of the fish vary depending on whether the animal dines on algae or bites through the shells of crustaceans and shellfish. The students are starting to understand evolution in a brand new way. Darwin was very lucky, but we can do it here too. It just takes a bit more technology and the ability to do anatomical examinations. The students did a great job today. This unusual lesson in evolution will stay with them for a long time to come. This summer, a thousand students from Germany will be heading for the Mediterranean to follow in Darwin's footsteps.